morning, everybody. RV Prepper this Wayne here. Today, we're going to install a rear set of Sumo Springs on a 2001 Winnebago Adventurer 35U. It's built on the Ford F53 chassis. And the Sumo Springs, the pros and cons of them, you can look in a previous video. I'll link that down below of the pros and cons versus sumo springs and airbags. Let me show you come, what comes with the kit for the rear set. You get your instructions and warranty card and everything. You get the springs. You get your frame bracket, your spring bracket, your lower spring bracket, and the same thing here for the other side. You get your six bolts for mounting the bag to your brackets. You get your eight bolts for mounting the brackets to the frame and you get your four four inch carriage bolts for mounting your lower bracket to the frame basic tools you need is just, uh, a couple wrenches sockets extensions in this case it's all nine sixteenths you need some drill bits and you need a good drill Simple, it uh, doesn't take long to install them. I've already got it jacked up, supported good. I'll show that to you here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get the wheel off and I'll kind of show you how it's going to sit in there. Okay, I got a, a pipe kind of wedged in here to give me my proper measurement. I'm going to use this little nut again to. I just take that little nut, I wedge it in the hole. And my small drill bit fits just inside that nut, which will put me centered. Okay, now I have my center hole drilled, pulled my bit out, I can take and remove that nut that I used to center the hole, and now we're going to go with a, net, uh, a larger size bit. Now I'm going with a, another little bit larger bit. And now I'm going to go with the proper size bit for the bolt. And I'm going to turn around and do the same thing for the other holes here and get them drilled as well. Okay, I got them all drilled out. I got these already drilled and snug. This one, uh, I just got to put the bolt in it and drill it. I just tightened the two bolts 
that goes up on the top part of the bag where it bolts to the frame. And I've just got to tighten this bottom bolt. I put my four inch bolts in there with my bracket in. And all I got to do is tighten them up. Once them are tight, the only thing that's left is to put the wheel back on and do the other side and then enjoy the ride. So the other side is basically identical to this side here. I'm not going to film the other side. It's easier if I just get in, get it done, and not worry about the camera and get it done. And then what we'll do is we'll go for a ride and I'll let you see how the customer reacts to the way this whole thing handles now with these on here. So, let me get this finished up and it'll take me just about an hour for you. It'll be just about right now. Okay, I told y'all that this side was going to be just like the other side. Well, I eat my words on this one. Yeah. As you can see, I have a propane line right where I need to go. So, that's the issue we're kind of dealing with at the moment. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, do this safely. I thought about notching the bracket, but that takes a chance of weakening the bracket. I am also thought about trying to change the... The rounding of the propane line, but I don't know yet. So once I get it figured out, then we'll we'll go from there. Uh, so bear with me. I eat my words every time I say this side's going to be the same. Well, for me it's another day. For you. It was just a clip away. Well, what we did after figuring everything up, we thought about cutting the bracket, but I'm afraid that it's going to weaken the bracket, so we didn't want to do that. And actually, looking at the uh, propane line, uh, we figured about how we can move it. Basically, what we're going to do is there's a connection here in the corner. And there's another connection right over in that corner. What we're going to do is run a little stub pipe, about six inches, and put a fitting on it. And then we'll be able to run a flex line up over and then back down into this. Uh, I've got the clamps to hold the flex line up and out of the way. And that'll give me all my clearance I need for everything here. That's really the uh, safest way to do that. You don't want to go cutting on a bracket. There's just too much pressure that's on that bracket. So I'm going to get in here and get this line changed. I'm not going to film trying to change it because um, it's wet and everything out here. I just want to get this done. Um, then we'll get in and then I'll show you about getting this uh, other side kind of once we get it done. It's same thing as the other side. It's just we got one obstacle that we're going to, that we have here. So let me get the fuel line changed and then I'll show you how we did it and how it's running everything. I have it all bolted in now. The only thing left that I have to do is put the wheel back on, torque the wheels. Take all the jacks down, move everything out of the way. I'm going to measure the height, and then we're going to go for a ride. But as you can tell, you know, with that gas line that went straight across, it was right there in the way. And notching the bracket, to me, would make the bracket weaker. And I really didn't want to do that when it was just as easy to run, reroute the gas line. And it's clamped up out of the way, so it's not going to vibrate. I've done pressure tested it, made sure I had no leaks. It's all good. So I'm going to get the wheel back on it, and then we're going to go for a drive.
I'm sure everybody's wanting to see this part. Is, is this actually worth the money and the time? And I can already tell you yes, but we'll let the uh, customer drive it, and he can tell you from his uh, perspective. So when I would do this at home, and you go over these bumps here, this thing would flip around to a point that was just absolutely insane. You'd hear bottles banging and silverware and dishes. And, you know. It would continue to rock and roll. Oh, we would to. rock. Look at that. Holy crap. i got to give Smoke Sumo Springs kudos, man. These things are awesome. I think they're great. Good. I think they're great. We didn't do we didn't do sway bars, we didn't do stabilizers, we didn't do any of that stuff. All we did was the sumo springs. Yep. Major difference. Look at that, even that. Well worth the money. That's good. Okay, you heard it from him. He's extremely happy with it. It's taken out uh, rock and everything real bad with what he had before. They're all happy. I'm happy. Another job completed. Questions, comments, please like and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. Let's hit that 10,000 mark. You could be the winner of the cool prize giveaway. When I hit that 10,000 mark, questions, comments, please like and subscribe. I will see y'all in the next video.